Hey guys, it's Wendy here with Wendy's Plans and today I am going to show you the tools and things that I use for journaling. So stay tuned. Okay guys, first of all, I didn't get another Galen leather product. This is the box that my original cover came in, which is the one that I have on my weeks. And it's such a nice box, guys. I'm just going to show you. It's it's a hard, it's, it's a nice box. And I couldn't bring myself to throw it away. So this is where I store what I'm going to use for journaling. So I went through and th this technical thing is, <laughs> this is my cutter for washi tape, guys. Everybody uses them. It's not a trick. It's nothing new. But I just, whenever I got this Apple card, I loaded it and I just threw it on my nightstand. And I decided to just throw it in this box so I would have something to cut my washi. So I'm going to show you real quick what I use for journaling. I've got my Platinum Preppy. Right now I'm in the green. I'm ordering the set of, I don't remember how many is in a set, but I'm going to order the complete set with all the colors because this year I'm going to have some color in my journal. So I'm using the green right now. Um, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I've got so much washi. I don't know where it came from. I'm not even going to try to list it because... Most of it came from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or um, AC Moore. I, I, I don't know. I just got washi wherever I saw it that I liked it. So the first roll that I have is this quadrifoil. Um, it's, the, it's the design, but it is a foil um, washi. And let me see if I can get it where the shine's not on it. There you go. So it's the pink with the gold. And I also have the pink with the gold foil dots. And then another pink with a foil graphic design. Then to go with that, I pulled out, it's the same as the pink, except it's wider and it is a teal green. Let's see. Then I have the pink with the, which is a larger pink dot. So I've got those. I have this Paisley. It's a pink and green design. I love this one. I have used it, but not a lot, not as much as I thought I would. So I'm excited to incorporate that. Then I have, oops, I've ripped it. There we go. I have this washi that I bought that I thought would be so pretty to use. And it is, it's like a scene and it's like the Tuscany houses and that kind of thing. And so I thought this would be perfect for me to use in my journaling so I am going to use this. There is another one that is a scene. Let me see if I can get this one to start. I've used these once or twice and that has been it. But again, this is like the houses in Tuscany or a Spanish village or guys, it is just, I'm trying to get it to where there is no light on it. There you go. I just think it is so pretty and I thought both of these I could use um, in my journal. The next one that I have, this is, let me see if I can think of the name of it. Oh, I know his name is Holtz, Tim Holtz. It came out of one of his packages. And let me see if I can get it to where you can see all the designs. So it kind of is a vintage look. Everybody, if you, you're 
you know Tim Holtz, you, you know what they are. So I thought this would be nice. And what I like to do is if I'm going to use one of the wide ones, it's just the wide one. And I always put it on the edges of my paper. So I would use just the wide. Um, but when I have, or like if I use, I don't, I don't know the millimeters, but this is like a little bit smaller. Those I always just put one piece down, but if I'm using like these narrower ones, I get the thinnest and one of those and put it together and it still is not too wide, but I thought this one would go with any of these. They came a set, so I knew they would work together. So I am going to experiment with those. And then guys, I love this one. You know, I love cats. I love this because when I'm sitting there journaling, she's usually right there with me, my little Ellie. That's just some of the washi tape that I have pulled out to use this year. And then in here, because guys, I'm a floral girl. I have all of these stickers. These are washi tape stickers. So let me see if I can get it to pull up so I can show you. When I'm journaling, I can just do this and it just pops right. There it goes right up. But this is the, as you can see, you can see my fingers right through the tape. Um, so I usually put my washi down and then I will put some of these stickers right down with it. Now these stickers, I don't remember the name brand, but if you Google washi stickers or washi tape, um, stickers you you'll find them there on Amazon I ordered gosh guys I, I don't they're not expensive you get hundreds in a pack and there's just all kinds and one of my favorites that I would really didn't know I'd really like is just these black and white ones oops they to me they look like a uh, hand line drawings and things so I do like that and I just throw them in the box and when I put down my washi tape I just pick one and then I just build around it so if I were to reach in the box and say I pulled out let's let's just pull out this one I would either this is a good example I would pick one from the rose colored and one from the purple to go along with it if I reach in here and let's see right here so this one, the predominant color is orange, but it does have a little bit of the blue. I would put the predominant, the yellow orange, and then I would try to slip in something with the blue, whether that's in washi tape or whatever. So I just reach in here and just grab one, and that is my starting off point. And so I enjoy this because guys, you know me, I love florals. I love plaids, I love florals. So, this is just the way I keep it so that it's all together. And guys, when I get moved into my new office, things will change up a little bit. I will have room to be able to sit at my desk um, and be able to do a lot of my journaling there instead of sitting in my room doing my journaling. So things might switch up a little bit. If they do, I will let you know. But right now, I keep all of that in this box by Galen Leather, and then I tuck this into my little rolly cart that I keep in my bedroom. Now, guys, I'm going to show you what my journaling looks like, but I'm not going to show you my writing, so I'm going to try to cover it up. So this is how I normally do it. So this is those thin strips. I put two thin strips together and then I put one of the large um, strips there. And then I just wanted it to be an all girl pinky day. So I just did my two florals here and I just journal around them. So that is the way I journal. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope if you are sitting on the fence on decorating your journal, that this will help you. And I hope you enjoyed um, the series so far on my planuary. So guys, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, 
subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and please, please, please leave me a, a comment down below if you're journaling and what are some of the things that you can't journal without. So until next time, guys, bye-bye.